I'm going to uh, launch it for us. So one of the things I thought was pretty cool about this, although I haven't tried the other language op options out yet, is that it's here in four languages. Uh, I thought that was pretty cool. Not a lot of games I've seen uh, do that. So I'm going to create a new game. Special meteor hit the atmosphere of the Earth a long time ago. The meteor fell into pieces and its crystals were lost. Our grandfather found two of these crystals and discovered that they had special effect on horses. The crystals gave special ability to horses, he said, but nobody believed him. The scholars laughed at him and expelled him. He gave those two crystals to us, hoping we'd be able to realize his dreams. So we get to choose a player here. We play the little girl or the little boy. I kind of like their costumes. I think they're really cute. I'll play the girl for this one. I also pick an empty slave slot. So here we are at the farm. Grandfather's left his farm to us. Uh, we're going to be breeding special horses and hopefully find the lost crystals. Can upgrade buildings. Can enter them. And it looks like we have a cult that we uh, should be raising up. We have to spend some time grooming it. So here we go. There's a barn, a blacksmith, stable, corral, and the gate. The other thing I didn't realize the first time I tried playing this is that there's also an info board when you go to the info board after you uh, basically can see information about your uh, the horses you have and their statistics what level they are if they're available for breeding if they're healthy and everything so the other thing is there's a well and the well is important because you have to upgrade the well in order to get an add another horse to your stable so, you know, I'm just going to upgrade that now because I know I'm going to want to do it very soon. Go into the stable. I'm going to enter it. And there we see my little colt. So, it's basically there's grooming tools on the left side. Uh, there's three different types. One for the body, one for the hooves, and one for the head. You can also buy items for this area, and I'll show that in a little bit. And finally, when your horse is an adult, you can uh, buy some horseshoes from the blacksmith. Okay, so the first thing is early game. You need to groom your horse. Oh, I keep making him nice and happy and sparkling. I don't know if you have to switch between them, but I tend to. And you, as you can see, there's that little red progress bar down there at the bottom. And one of these things is by the, there's, you know, you only have so much time before your, your horse grows up to an adult and you need to keep grooming it in order to affect its intelligence. I don't quite get it. I mean, I kind of do. Uh, I know that uh, even among animals, but people as well, if sometimes if the more attention they get as little children, uh, the better certain parts of their life can be in the future. So as you see here, I did a great job. You got an intelligence of 100 out of 100. If uh, you don't do quite a good of a job, uh, the intelligence could be low. The very first horse I did, because as you noticed, they didn't really explain this to you. Uh, very first, first time I played this, the horse only had 87 intelligence, which made me a little sad when I found out how it is that you affect intelligence. So uh, if we want, we can shop. And basically it's this lantern here. You can buy different sponges. They affect, they have different prices and they affect things in different ways. Uh, feed stalls, water troughs, troughs, uh, buckets. Right now I'm not gonna worry about this stuff as much. I actually would like to try to increase our horse's stats. So I'm gonna go to the corral. So the crowd basically uh, presents us a few different training options. And we want to keep training the horses to get them to a high level. That helps them in races uh, and later on with breeding apparently. And as well as with quests. So uh, our options here are sledge pulling, obstacle course, forest course, and dressage course. Uh, the dressage course is one of the, the quickest ones, so I'll show that first. And it uh, speed and dynamic uh, reflexes.
So basically what's going to happen is our horse is going to go along and every so often an, an arrow is going to appear above. Uh, and these correspond to your arrow keys on your keyboard. And you press it and you'll get a score on how, how good of a job you did at pressing it at the correct time. So here we go, let's get ready. So this is one of the shorter ones. It's also sort of one of the more boring ones because it's a lot of just uh, prancing and, and stuff like that, which is good and is uh, very important for horse development and, and uh, in terms of us judging them and things like that. But it can be a little boring for us as the players to go through, but it's not too long. And I found you don't want it to do it when it first starts spinning, you want to wait till it's spinning pretty well uh, before you click on it. And that's it! And then we get our report card, you can see I had one good, four perf five perfects, I get a 96 and an A! <laughs> uh, so this is, I'm pretty sure this game is meant more for kids, it's kind of cool because they'll, they'll understand that grading system uh, pretty well, I think. Now, one of the annoying things, it's awesome that there's a tutorial in this game, but as you can see, one of the annoying things is as you, as you come back into the corral, it shows you the same thing that you just saw, uh, which gets very repetitive. And it is possible to turn it off, and I will later, but then one of the problems is as you get to new areas of the game, you no longer have the tutorial available to tell you what to do. So let's do one more before we go elsewhere. Uh, we'll do the forest course. Stamina, Dexterity, and Speed. So again, practice arrow the arrows. And so there's a bunch of different jumps. Sometimes there's combos. Like in that one, and then another jump. And there's not, it's not that exciting <laughs> of a game in this part, uh, but it's still, I find, a bit fun. It's hard because after, you know, a half an hour playing this, I probably want to take a break and not click arrow keys anymore. <laughs> Great, we, so we finished that one. And as you can see here, we now have a bunch of stats. Our speed's already up to 100%, our stamina and reflex are pretty good, our strength and the dexterity are still a bit low. But for right now, I'd like to go over to the blacksmith. And we're gonna make some horseshoes. You make them on the anvil. Uh, there's a book of recipes for, for making these horseshoes uh, and everything. So let's go ahead here. So one of the things too about this game is you have to buy the recipes. And it's, it's actually one of the, the difficulties I sometimes have or one of the areas I think it's a little weak is that it doesn't really explain to you how to manage your money. And it, it's, it's something that you kind of learn to do as you play. But then it can be really frustrating because your initial games, you're not going to do very well and you'll have no reason, you'll have, you, there was no reason for you to know how to have done well. So I'm going to buy this one. And we see here, uh, it shows the three elements we need to create this item. We have to add these in the correct order. And these are the changes that it will make to our horses, uh, character attributes. So go here, go to the anvil. So I actually have a hard time remembering the names from the book. I try to actually remember more what they look like with a little bit of, of the name because as you can see a lot of these look very similar. Uh, one of the 
it would have been nice to have things that weren't uh, quite so hard to pronounce, I think. And then... Because, I don't know, I find it really hard to remember and I, I don't know how to pronounce any of it. So, we, we see here there's a similar mechanic to the racing, or the, the training in the corral uh, here as well. So, I did an okay job, I got an A, and I made a successful combination, which means we get horseshoes! So we take here the horseshoes, I don't know where exactly, there we go. It is kind of weird, it doesn't give me good feedback if I've picked the right place, but, but we now have the horseshoes on our horse. And he seems pretty happy. So now we can go back. Uh, let's do a few more training things. So, so far we've done the, the dressage course, the forest course. Let's do uh, the obstacle course. And this is the strength and reflexes. And we remember strength a little low right now. If I recall correctly. Uh, so yeah. And the same sort of thing. Get ready with your fingers on the arrow keys. There is so much going on in this game that uh, I seem to learn something new every time I play it. Because the first few times I played it, I did not realize, recognize or notice those little bars on the bottom, the red and the blue one, and in the other screen. And now I'm really wondering what they're what they're about. I think they're to tell me when my horse is tired. And I think taking care of your horse uh, replenishes them so they're not as tired. So I did really well on this course. Yay, got an A. And now we see my strength's up to 58. Uh, I need to increase my stamina a little bit. Uh, but as you can see here, there's this blue one. Oh, okay, so that's my condition, and that's my spirit. Awesome. Okay. So, I wonder if it's time to go back to the stable. Do some grooming. So yes, as you can see, uh, as you groom, it replenishes uh, parts of your horse, their spirit and their. This is for the head. So grooming is very important, and and. Anyone who's been around horses knows that you do actually, you have to groom them uh, and make sure they're happy. So we may as well also feed them. Make sure he eats. Come on horsey, you need to eat. And also get some water. So we don't want you getting hydrated. So let's do one more training, and then we'll go on to the gate and see the races and the quests. Although we might need to do a little grooming before that. Alright. So. Do sledge pulling. Stamina and strength. Which I believe are items we need to increase. Yes, yeah, strength and stamina. So let's go ahead and do this. Awesome. Let's start. So your horse is carrying some pretty heavy uh, stone blocks there, it looks like. Now I feel the arrows work better as a mechanic in a few of the other uh, training exercises, but don't work as well here, but that's okay. Because, you know, the horse isn't really changing what it's doing when you click on the arrows here. Now 
And I don't know why. The music and the background sound effects, uh, they appeal to me in this game. It's just a, supposed to be a fun little game. And that's it. Fortunately, it's a relatively short one. I did okay. Alright, so let's see where he's at. Great, so now everything is over, is at least 100 if not more. I am gonna go back to the stable for a moment. Make sure his condition is great. When we go out for our first, so I will feed first, because we didn't see how if that affects things. Yeah, feeding greatly increases the condition compared to uh, grooming. Yay! So I think he's both in fine spirits and condition right now. So let's go to the gate. The gate has the two ways of making <laughs> money in this game. So you can pick the horse wagon, you go off to a race, or you click on your mailbox and you, free and you uh, find out what other people need you to do, which is a quest. The problem is, I think if your animal is not in great condition when it goes out, it can fall ill. And one of the things I found during playing this is that uh, you don't necessarily, when you fall ill, it costs gold to come back up to health because you get had to buy medicine. But the medicine costs more than the, the quest usually gives you. So <laughs> you want to make sure uh, you have plenty of gold and then you don't keep sending out a horse that's just going to get sick and sick and sick. So let's do the race. So the race, you go off to the race, and they give you these in, this information about the race, which is kind of cool. It's second place, it's a tired group of runners. The race just started, right off the pace. I outrun someone, looming dangerously. I'm in second place. The thing is, I feel I never feel reading. I, if, when I read this, it feels more like it's a, a random bunch of information about the race rather than something that's actually useful uh, for me to, to read. I would have loved instead a more visual representation of what's going on in the race, how many other horses there are, stuff like that. But hey, it's pretty good. And if you don't want to watch it anymore, you can just click this. Uh, a clock will usually appear in the left side that'll tell you how much longer there is left in the race. One place where this game kind of bogs down is that it takes time to do these things, including these races. And so I don't mind it so much when it's training the horse because then you're interacting with it. Or grooming it, you're interacting with it. But here, you're literally just waiting for time to pass. That's all you do. And that's kind of boring to me. <laughs> so we're almost there, I think. Yay! I've taken second place. Which means I get 25 gold. And as you can see, it took some out of my horse, but not so bad. So the other thing you can do while you're here is you can do quests. So this quest is a plow. Yeah, sure. I'll send I'll send my horse out for this. So again, your horse goes off. This time there isn't even any sort of description of what's going, what your horse is doing. Your horse is just off screen for some moment of time. Now I think uh, if you have multiple horses, you can send one off to a quest while going and training the second one. I'm not entirely sure because uh, there isn't necessarily. I haven't found a great. Uh, help area for understanding how this game works. So that can help a little bit with this whole uh, waiting around thing. So it might only be early game where it's it's this boring. We've come back from a quest. So when you come back from a quest, you usually have found an item, and that goes into your inventory, and then you get some gold for it. So great. So one other thing you can do 
uh, with your horse is you can go to the barn. Now, if your horse ever fell ill, you definitely want to come here. Uh, if your horse is healthy, you can also make potions for it to, to make it feel better. So, again, very similar to the blacksmith. You go in here, buy a recipe. So this one we got from an elderly witch. Increases stamina, dexterity, and intelligence. Awesome. So get out of here. Go into the mortal mortar. We have to add the herbs together. Again, I usually do this more by what the herbs look like rather than their names. Although the names aren't quite as bad here. There, there, there's at least enough differences. And again with the arrows. Oh, and somehow, even though I did really well, had a bad combination. So let's try it again. This time I have a successful combination. And now I come here, take the potion, make it drink it. Drink it! And it is now happy again. And you see I've increased intelligence and a few other things. Let's go back. Let's do another race. And so there's supposed to be some interactions between, I think, the weather and what's going on. I haven't always understood exactly how the weather is supposed to be affecting things, but it's there. She slows down, it's not too... And then a tremendous effort, and an intermediate... <laughs> like, it just, it's so all over the place for me that I don't think quite means anything. So I'm just going to ignore that for now. Let time pass. I wish there were things you could do like actually ring the bell or something like that uh, with the gate area. I think that would be pretty cool. This also does remind me of a horse farm near my parents. Because it has this type of architecture, uh, more Mediterranean, and with the tile roofs and stuff like that. If I could buy that house, I totally would, but it's multi millions of dollars. I won a cup! I came in first, I think. Yeah, 50 gold! So yay! So that's also like how you replenish gold. So quest helps you get a little gold, but also gives you items you need for making horseshoes or potions. And uh, if you do well in races, then you make more gold, uh, but you don't get any items. So what I'm gonna do right now, actually, is gonna I'm gonna head back to the stable. I'm gonna groom away increase the spirit again. And you can see now that we've won a race that our our trophy is up there. So I think it has to be in high spirits and uh, have most things over 100 in order to reach. So what we're gonna do is, you noticed earlier I bought the well, so now I have a space for another horse. So what I can do is go to shop, 
I can pick my horse. <laughs> so this one, the grace and beauty of this horse is one of a kind. Uh, people of forgotten civilizations pass on the secrets of breeding this type of horse. Ancestors of this cult were unique race horses. And people- uh, wait, there should be another one. Ancestors of this cult- yeah. There is another one, but I can't find it. But I'm gonna do... People of forgotten civilizations. And we have a new cult! And it's time... To groom! Groom, 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 groom. Make that horse happy and intelligent. Stop moving! Because, in fact, intelligence is one of the hardest things to improve in this game because you can get it at the beginning and then you can do potions and stuff. But if you notice, the potions so far have only increased intelligence by two. So that can get kind of crazy if you try to, if you have to do a big. So I got a hundred here. Yay! So we have a demon steed. Oh man, that's awesome. So what I'm going to do here, I'll go back to our first horse. Who hopefully is still happy. Yes. Uh, I will go to the gate and send that horse out on a quest. And actually what I'm going to do here is turn off the tutorial. I may miss some stuff, but it's getting really annoying. Setting settings, tutorial off. Lose. And then let's do a quest. We already did the plow one, so let's do the letter. And then, when I get this other horse, I believe I can go to the corral and start training my demon steed, Marissa. So let's start with the sledge pulling. Come on, Demon Steed, you can do this. Seems to be pulling a rather heavy load. One of the things I found too is if, if you leave the game to like go to some other application, I believe it pauses. So it's not like you can even go and like check your email while it's off on a quest or a race. Which is a little sad. I'm sure as I get more horses that that won't become as much of a problem. So we'll see if this worked. Yeah, see, so my guys come back with an item, the other horse, and 30 gold. So we can see here that that kind of tired him out a bit. So let's go back to the stable and take care of our new <laughs> demon steed. Here, eat. Let's see if uh, Trey would like to go on a race. Try the weight pulling. And let's train our demon steed some more. Let's 
see how you do with dressage. It sounds almost like there's thunder in the background. I really want to get to the point where I can read them because I think that'll be interesting. First came, other horse came back, we won a cup, and we got 50 gold. Came in first place. It's time for that stable again. One of the reasons I didn't notice the info board or the well for a while was that they're not on that little mini map. You have to come out here to see it. So we under here can see uh, where our horses are. They're both healthy, which is awesome. And the well, let's see how much the upgrade. I need 200 gold for the next upgrade on the well. Which I think will give me another horse. I can't upgrade this either. It's all 200. So, let's back to the gate. We'll send Trey out to make some more money for us. And then we'll train our other horse some more. Let's do an obstacle race. Marissa. Let's go through the forest course. Somehow a demon seed going through the forest kind of freaks me out a bit. also funny because the weather isn't necessarily matched in the seasons at all it's just kind of random like you get snow and rain and then rainbows at least that's uh, what I've noticed that double one's always interesting because it does speed it up a little bit when you're not necessarily expecting it. Oh, I totally blew that one. How an 83 is still an A, I don't know, but hey, <laughs> I'll go with it. And I think we could do one more. Oh, we came in. I think first again. So yeah, as you can see, the, later in the game, after you have, once you have two horses, that whole wait time during the race 
isn't as big of a deal. It's just early that it's kind of annoying. At least to me. And then we'll go to the corral. And we'll do the obstacle course. When I first played this game, I thought you had to put uh, horseshoes on the horse before you went to the corral. And the problem was, and that meant I didn't get the tutorial about how to do this whole arrow thing. And I had no idea. I, I mean, I, I learned, I figured it out pretty quickly, but it kind of surprised me. Oh, just totally not doing well this time. Whew, did not want to end on a bad one. <laughs> I gotta be. All right, our door, our horse definitely needs to rest. And I think it had one of those glitches where it, uh, but we'll see. Uh, or maybe it, it, the other one didn't actually go out uh, on its race. Do some grooming. Let's see how the other one is doing. Pretty good. Now we have our two cups up there. Let's send you on that race again. And Marissa out on plow and let's see what happens. Yeah, see if you do that. Okay, good. They're both out there. Yay! <laughs> yeah, so there's a rainbow, sun, clouds, rainbow, and then it's gonna be thunderstorms, and then it's gonna be partly cloudy. It's uh, pretty interesting. That'll give us the 200 we need to upgrade things. Yep. And my other ones returned from request. Found some item. And got me some gold. So now that I have over 200 gold again, I want to go back to the farm and I want to see what the options are for upgrading. And then I'll probably uh, stop for now. So we have our 200 gold. We can check in on the condition of our horses. I do like at the farm area, you see what the weather is. So everyone's healthy. They're both gold stars. Yes. So if we upgrade the well, I can add another horse, which will be important if we breed because you need the three areas. Uh, if we upgrade the stable, you can buy more valuable objects in the horse shop. Which, eh. Upgrade the blacksmith, better magical horseshoes, and more recipes. You upgrade the barn, more dangerous, you can cure more dangerous illnesses. You upgrade the gate, ah, I didn't mean to do that. 
sorry. I do wish there was like click to do upgrade and like right click instead of uh, left click to do an upgrade instead of going into. So upgrade you can take on more dangerous quests and qualify for better races. And then the corral is you can train your horses on more difficult fields, which is cool. But I think for now, I would like to quickly upgrade the, the well to give me another horse. And then I think I might try to breed them because I've never done that before and that would be a good stopping point. So need to make them all pretty because I think I need to get those hearts back in order to breed. There we go. And let's see how Marissa is. Why not bring it all the way up? So you can breed each horse just once. So let's try it though. And we got a new little one, which is nice because it saved the because it's three hundred gold <laughs> to uh <laughs> to buy one. So I'm going to stop here for now, uh, and we'll come back to this later. I'll save. Down here. And quit the game. <laughs>